honored to be part of this. I'm honored to have a chance to work with the Arthritis Foundation that I've admired for years. I want to thank Jody Buckwalter for uh, my mentor and friend for uh, giving me this opportunity to help shape uh, the discussion around a very important topic. Turns out that in my clinical work uh, for 30 years, nine, probably 80% of the patients I see have, present with pain in the foot and ankle. And if you look closely at them, almost all of them have osteoarthritis. It used to be that um, we would operate almost weekly on patients with rheumatoid arthritis. But today, our clinics do not have patients with rheumatoid arthritis um, in them very often. And it's really a way that's dominating the disability of these the patients. And the disability is significant. And I think Jim Brodsky will tell you a little bit about that. But just to give you a sense, uh, when we studied ankle OA, the disability of patients with end-stage ankle OA is measured by uh, physical component scores, physical function scores, was equivalent to that of end-stage renal disease and equivalent uh, to congestive heart failure. So th these folks are really disabled. Um, you know them. They're in your family. They're in your neighborhood. They're in your church or temple, and, and you see them hobbling along. And the, and the solutions are, are, are difficult um, um, if they are solutions. The surgical approaches, um, which will be discussed next time, uh, work okay, but they're, they involve a lot of risk, I think, and morbidity for sure, and convalescence always. And so we're excited that the Arthritis Foundation wants to shine a light in this dark corner. And, and, and I'm really happy that I've been able to pull together this incredible panel of experts to uh, illuminate um, uh, the issues that we're dealing with.